And now, a bombshell new lawsuit was filed today by the victims of the October 7th massacre against UNRWA for its complicity in terrorism, providing graphic details of how UNRWA knowingly funded Hamas and actively participated in the diversion of billions of funds for terrorism. The evidence against the UN body is damning. Let's take a look at the report. Victims of the October 7th terrorist attack filed a lawsuit today in U.S. federal court that provides new details on how UNRWA led a billion-dollar money laundering operation that funded Hamas. The lawsuit documents over a decade of alleged fraud and corruption in humanitarian aid to Gaza that was distributed through the United Nations. According to one of the lead lawyers in the case, the findings in the lawsuit demonstrate that UNRWA was aware of and actively participated in the diversion of funds earmarked to support the civilians in Gaza into channels that ensured those funds were used for terrorism and in violation of international law. One of the most damning pieces of new evidence presented in the case documents UNRWA's insistence that aid money be distributed in U.S. dollars, a currency that Gazan civilians could not use, and a unique practice only to Gaza that is not used in any other U.N. refugee program. This ensured that the dollars could not be used without going through Hamas money changers, who took 10 to 20 percent in fees. This payment scheme significantly reduced the real value of aid going into Gaza and gave Hamas an estimated two to four million dollars every month. The lawsuit was filed by 101 plaintiffs against UNRWA and against seven named commissioner generals, deputy commissioner generals, and a director who all oversaw the illegal schemes and were based in New York. UNRWA's operational costs and staff size per refugee served are nearly 10 times that of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, further exacerbating the waste and abuse of aid meant for Gaza civilians and facilitating funding and support for Hamas terrorists. The lawsuit also provides proof that Hamas openly controlled 24 out of 26 leadership positions in the UNRWA Employee Union, that at least 10 percent of UNRWA employees were members of Hamas, over 100 were proven to have taken part directly in the October 7th terror attack, that UNRWA teachers held Israeli hostages in their homes, and that UNRWA was fully aware of how completely Hamas dominated all levels of UNRWA's educational system even printing textbooks with a UN seal that taught children to write, I will commit jihad to liberate the homeland. The lawsuit and the serious allegations once again highlight the need to defund UNRWA and the importance of shifting control of Gaza aid to the UNHCR or other partners.